they showed a lot of grit coming back. Um, you know, we didn't have a lot going for us there, and uh, guys really stepped up, got some stops. I thought our defense was about as good as as it, we'd maybe played it man to man there when we made the comeback. Um, I give our guys a lot of credit. That's two games in a row now that they've been presented with a pretty you know high level challenge and uh, really stepped up to the plate. So I was very happy with that. You know, obviously we're disappointed with the outcome. Um, you know, I. We obviously forced overtime there. You know, I, I think the biggest thing, uh, you know, why did we get beat? And I got to watch the film. Poor free throw shooting. Poor rebounding in the first half. I thought we competed better on that uh, <coughs> rebounding in the second half. I thought our guys really dug in there. And then just poor decision making, you know, at the end of regulation. And, and uh, you know, with, with overtime and some execution things that we've got to get cleaned up. Um, you know, that, 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 that's on me. So, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, but from an effort standpoint, I was really proud of them. I thought it was a really competitive basketball game. I thought both teams, one of those games where both teams were competing at a really high level. Uh, it wasn't always pretty, but they were, both teams were going at it. Um, you know, I, I did share with the guys, you know, from, you know, being in this league, that effort, you know, we, we almost escaped there with getting it done with effort. But most of the time, you got to have execution working in concert with the effort, you know, to win in, in, in our league. So tonight we had just one of the two, but I'm very proud of their effort. Questions for Ken? Kendrick, can you describe what happened on the handoff with you and Malcolm at the end of the game? Um, we just tried to dribble keep, and uh, <laughs> obviously it was a collision. I thought it was a foul, but you know, the resident called it, and it went their way. Uh, when they made that run, you got by 13. What uh, what kind of happened with you guys? Oh, uh, when that went up on a run, I mean, we just we just tried to stay together. Um, I mean, we knew it was it would take a defensive effort, but then our offense, you know, we can't let them keep scoring, so we, we just tried to play that way. Kendrick, you've had these long runs where your offense just kind of bogs down. What, what do you see out, out of your offense when it does that? Um. Sometimes um, we just stand and um, not get ball and play a movement. That's pretty much what it is. You know, we got to play together and have the ball moving and players moving. Yeah, Kendrick, hey, you kind of got off to a good start tonight. Just, was there anything different for you? Were you able to you know, hit some shots early and you know, you know, ended up with 24 points? I mean, nothing different for me, you know. I just try to play my game, let it come to me. Anything else for you? All right, thank you. <laughs> Questions for uh, Coach Gross? Okay. Questions? John, just the up and down of, of this team. Just when when did they hit that moment where they they put it together? From an effort standpoint, no, we play our butt off. Execu execution standpoint. Those guys right now, that one stings, man. They played their tails off. People can't appreciate that. But that's the problem. They played their butts off. You know, execution wise, it was good at times, not good at others. You know, uh, I thought we did a great job of getting to the free throw line today. That was different than game one. You know, we got there 31 times. You know, over the last month and a half, we were leading the Big Ten in free throw shooting. Today we go 18 for 31. You know, that happens. You know, you hope it didn't happen in a game like this where it could be a determining factor, but it happens. You know, I didn't think we made shots in the first half. I thought our quality of shot in the first half was probably a little bit better than the first 10 to 15 minutes in the second half, maybe 10 minutes. And I thought their defense was really good. Um, you know, it's been great all season. And I thought they were hard to score against, especially when we didn't rebound the ball well um, in the first half. But I really challenged our guys to step up uh, with the rebounding, and I thought we did a much better job of that. They had 11 offensive rebounds at halftime. They only had two, they only had two the rest of the game and overtime. So our guys really did a good job of shoring that up there. I thought we were physical with our block outs and did a good job there. 
I thought a lot of it, you know, we did have some hero ball possessions, and um, we got to quit doing that. And, and guys have got to let the offense work a little bit more, like Ken said, a little bit more player and ball movement. Uh, we had that at the end. I thought we were, you know, really moving the ball, penetrating, kicking, making the extra pass. Guys stepped up and made some plays. Um, you know, obviously we just needed one more play there at the end of regulation or a play or two in the overtime. But, you know, I'm, I'm again, I clearly, you know, the last two games are a step in the, you know, in the right direction in a lot of areas, you know, so I'm not going to neglect that because we didn't win the game. You know, I, I want to control what we can control. You know, I, I thought at times today there were times where I thought our players maybe let some things that didn't go their way get them a little bit mentally. That's part of being mentally tough and maturing and growing. And I was disappointed a little bit in that. But at the end, they responded and kind of, you know, got their grit back. I thought we showed amazing grit uh, late in the game to force overtime. thought the crowd was huge. It's great to have the orange crush back. Got loud in there. I thought it was. I thought it was good. We just needed one or two more plays, a couple free throws. Um, you know, it was a hard, hard, hard fought game. John, if you could go back to the last possession, what would you have liked to see in there, John? Yeah, in, of, of regulation. One? In regulation. Yes, sir. You know, obviously, if you've got to do it over again, you know, he's got a guy six foot eight with a wingspan of plus seven on him that's already blocked three of our balls. You got in a 1-4 flat situation there. Um, I'm sure he'd be the first to tell you he would like to drive it if he had to do it over again. You know, he chose not to. You know, I'm, I'm going to ride with him. You know, I put the ball in his hands, or we have on numerous occasions over the two or three years. Today it didn't work out. You know, I feel you know bad for him, but at the end of the day, it's about our team and. You know, I, I asked him to make that play. He made a lot of, he's made a lot of plays for us all year and shouldered a lot. And uh, we just happened not to make that one. When your offense maybe isn't you're running as effectively as you want, is there things you can do to stop it before it gets to 10 minutes without a made shot? I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, you know, sometimes I'll have to take a look at a spot. I mean, sometimes I hear that in 10 minutes without a main shot. How many free throws we shoot in there? Was there a lot? So, you know? Yeah, so free throws are pretty good shots usually in the ball. I mean, you know, sometimes that's a misnomer. You didn't score field goal. Well, if you get to the free throw line 10 times or seven or eight times, like that's good too. That's as good as a main field goal or a field goal attempt. Percentage-wise, in theory, probably should be even better. You know, unfortunately tonight we missed some. You know, we had key junctures. And that's very unlike our team last year or this year from the free throw line to do that. We just, it just didn't go our way in that in that area there. But for me, again, I look at quality of shot. And I thought there were some possessions, as Ken mentioned, where we didn't have great ball and player movement. And I thought there were some where we did and some where we just missed, you know. And uh, it is what it is. I mean, I thought Malcolm had some good looks. You know, is, is it difficult, you know, for us to be good offensively when he goes three for 14? Yes, for sure. No question. You know, if you look at our best offensive games, um, you know, he's been a little bit more efficient than that, but tonight wasn't his night. Coach, uh, only, back here, only five points in overtime. Were you guys just out of gas or bad shots or? No, nah, I think, you know, I don't I don't think necessarily we were out of gas. I didn't think either team was. I thought either team could have kept playing another 40 minutes. It was just a high, it was a high level from an energy perspective, I thought, as high a level of game as we played in our building this year in terms of both teams, like really physical, going at it, competing, high level of energy. And, um, you know, I, I don't think it was that at all. You know, I thought we missed some, and I thought we made some – I thought we made some poor decisions there where we didn't let the offense work for us and we tried to press some issues. You know, we've got to work to get better there. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Jones.